Carnosine is a food supplement. It is used in exercise physiology for improvement of exercise performance. And it is a dipeptide, it's a beta alanine histidine. So two amino acids are banked together in a dipeptide. So carnosine has been shown in animal studies to prevent um, and uh, be useful in treatment of type 2 diabetes and also related chronic diseases. Um, it has been shown to have anti-inflammatory properties, um, antioxidative properties and anti-advanced glycation and product properties. These processes and mechanisms are very important for type 2 diabetes as well as a lot of other chronic diseases related to diabetes such as cardiovascular disease, uh, neurodegenerative diseases, etc. The key findings were that carnosine improved fasting glucose, two-hour glucose, HbA1c, which is a, a marker of glycemic control, and it improved also um, markers of inflammation, C-reactive protein, and malonyl aldehyde, which is a marker of oxidative stress. There are a lot of challenges in preventing diabetes, but what relates to carnosine, um, the, the challenge is how to impact uh, mechanisms of the diseases, because if we can impact the mechanism of the disease, we can prevent several risk factors of type 2 diabetes. And that's what carnosine offers through reduction in inflammation, oxidative stress and advanced glycation. It can impact not only diabetes, but risk factors uh, and diseases associated with type 2 diabetes. And in addition, carnosine is used as an exercise enhancer or improves exercise tolerance, which means that combined with exercise, we can potentially have greater effects on diabetes and other chronic diseases.